I've been filming a grad school application video here on the National Monument, so I might as well do a Wisdom Wednesday. So happy Wisdom Wednesday, y'all, from DC, featuring all the planes and construction noise. Welcome to DC. I've been living here for a month already, and I just moved in this past weekend to a dream apartment, literally a dream apartment. I am in love with it. Um, I'll shoot a little video. It's still, it's still getting fixed up. I've been able to catch up with a bunch of friends, which I really appreciate. And life has just moved really quickly. It's been a awesome growth period. Not only am I here and meeting amazing new people and people are so generous with networking here. Like I thought it was going to be kind of rough and competitive, but everyone seems really willing to help um, when you're on the job hunt. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for my family friend who let me stay with him for three weeks where I got to take care of his cat when he was gone. And that was just a, a really great way to enter the city and feel like I had a home and a place to be. So like it's September, this this is the month my brother passed away. Uh, actually it'll be a year on, on Monday, which is insane. It's been rough, it always will be, but to compare where I am today versus where I was last year, the growth I could have never imagined. And I know this is where he would want me to be. This is where I was supposed to move to before my brother got sick. And, and the fact that it's been a year since I lost him, that my family lost him and, and life keeps moving. But I think he would be really proud of everything I've tried to do and am attempting to do in pursuing my dreams, especially in honor of him. My brother was a high school history and geography teacher and a huge nerd, and he loved DC. And so I worked here last summer, and when he was in and out of the hospital, I brought him home a, a puzzle of the Capitol Hill building, which we were trying to build together in between his hospital visits. So when I'm at Capitol Hill or I'm at the Smithsonian's and at the Washington Monument, like. I feel him, I feel his presence because he was supposed to be here that summer taking a group of high schoolers for the NHS club over, but it didn't get to work. So it sucks, it sucks losing him. But for those who are just now starting their grief journey or you're in the beginning of it, I had a friend put it in a really great way that there's this metaphor that when you deal with grief, it's like a a black hole and life is a box and the black hole is there and the black hole will get smaller as you go through your own process but instead she envisions that the black hole never changes shape but instead the box grows and i i feel like that's true that grief will always be there the loss of your loved one will always hurt and it and it'll come out at times um full force as it first did but life gets more colorful and things get more filled in and so if you are in that state where you feel that this is going to weigh on you forever um, because i was there i was i was there where i thought there's there's no way that i could ever get out of that feeling that it will change and time does work but also community if you find people that are willing to just sit there with you in that discomfort and have the empathy and courage enough to, to be in that uncomfortable moments um, just just to support you so they you know you're not alone and they know that they can't do anything or say anything to make it better except for them just being there. That I think has been the most helpful thing for me and I'm, I'm so grateful that I've had the privilege and opportunities to heal in ways I couldn't imagine, like creating community and bonding with people in Kazakhstan over the loss of our loved ones to spending the holidays in Romania and then healing with my family in the Philippines and then continuing the journey um, with my parents in Turkey and Greece and then living it up in Ibiza with my sisters. Like all that were moments that helped me all through that, like the ups and the downs and the adventures and the lows that come from constant travel and being on the go. I'm very grateful 
that they've all led up to this moment, even though there is a lot of uncertainty in my life still and, you know, lots of growth that is occurring and I'm striving for, like, I think my brother would be proud. <laughs> and I'm very thankful for that because I miss him every day. <laughs> I hope that he can see everything I'm seeing, meet everyone I get to meet, and be free. So that is the wisdom of this Wednesday. As always, I'm wishing you a wise and mindful week, and thanks for tuning in.